Welcome back to Everything's Funny at 3 a.m. This is Dub playing the Cat Lady. We're in Pauline's flat finally. Now, uh, Susan's gotta pull something off, man. Let's see. Bookcase. Nothing useful here, just books, 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 and a few toys. Kitchen. Kitchen looks sparkling clean. Damn it, most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also some guy on a few of them. But his face seems to be cut out of every single picture. He appears on odd. Some more pictures of her boyfriend. I don't want to answer the door quite yet. I want to make sure we do everything. Probably supposed to just answer it, but... It gets dark early over this side of the building. Got a TV. Damn, that's a nice TV. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what does it say? Huh. There's not. They're not in the bathroom yet. Sounds like Mitzi is telling her some flake story, fake, like fake stories about her childhood. Maybe I can quickly check that room later if she eventually starts washing her hands. Okay. We'll go answer the freaking door. A lot of door answering going on lately. Who the fuck are you? Hello? Hello? Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My oh. name is Rita Tickle. Rita Tickle. Is... No. Agency? Get the fuck out. What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. Wow, she seems like well, a real winner. Days. Right. Back on Just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. Are we gonna get it fucking Hodor's sister to by post. watch Didn't Pauline's kid? Letter? I don't think so. Hang on, I said. Wow, she's pushy. Back the fuck off, fucking dump truck. <laughs> should, I, should I insult her? Uh, the vision is. I'm gonna insult her. Wrong address. Beat it, four eyes. I'm sorry, is this flat number 8? No, it's number 18. Now go away, or I'm calling the cops. So, you're not looking to employ a childminder? How do I say it She's so a genius. you would get it? <laughs> no. The sign says number 8. It can't be wrong. Should when I said beat it, it which filled. part did you not understand? Oh, this is great. There must have been some kind of mix up. <laughs> I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Yeah, you better do that. Get out of here. That was great. She better not come back. Okay, here we go. Laptop. I don't know enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. Great. I can hear the water running. I must hurry. They could be out any second now. Photos. There's lots of photos of Pauline and her ex. His face has been cut out of every single one of them. Nothing new. Scissors. Examine. It seems she spends a lot of time cutting her child's father out of the photographs. Ah, the dark secrets we all keep from the world. Take the scissors! Stupid woman leaving her baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. That is a good point there, Susan. But, uh, you can't really say anything, you know, since, uh, you basically killed your own baby. Yeah, sorry about that one. That wasn't nice. Examine. Speak TV. Okay. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. Oh, no. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! Whoa! 
My hands still aren't clean enough. I should wash them. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. That'll work. Boom. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please. What if I faint? <laughs> I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Oh, jeez. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you? really please? selling it, isn't she? <laughs> I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute. Alright. You must have got some bag in the hospital after all. Well played, Mitzi. Well played. Let's see if it's Hodor's sister again. Oh, jeez. It's you. Again. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is this flight number eight? Just My name is Rita Tickle. Oh, jeez. From the Happy Nanny Agency. <laughs> May I come in, please? Get the fuck out of here. What's the matter with you? I've told you to go away. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? And you are looking for a beating, <laughs> yes? Let's kick her ass, I Susan. I have ten years' experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Oh also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. <laughs> wow, I really didn't want to know that. <laughs> now, leave me alone. Oh, that's I'm so busy. good. It's so you good. You don't need a nanny. <laughs> for a hundredth time, no. I Please. sold my baby for organ transplants. Nice. What? You're an evil person. You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. <laughs> oh, God, is she gone now? She yeah. I've already been to hell. They don't want me there. Yep, let's go. Susan, you're such a badass. Sometimes. Let's see if I can. Okay. Alright, we'll go back out and, uh,. They'll probably come out. No? the heck am I supposed to do now? Oh my god, do something! Something happened! go outside. Maybe I need to cut the uh, cable with the scissors. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's probably a good point. Switch that off.
These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Alright. Well, not that again. What happened to the light? I'm... I'm <laughs> terrified of the dark. I, 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 I can't move. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, it's alright. It's probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, I think I'm going to faint. I don't think you're going to be getting the job, Mitzi. There's going to be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. Okay, Mitzi. Right. Let's do it. Was that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um... No idea. Maybe it's a blackout, like in the old days. <laughs> it's probably just the meter. Let me see. Somebody totally didn't cut the cable. It's not her, it's gonna be the kid across the hall. It's not her either. Yeah. Well, time. we still got the kid and we got Brian, that's right. This interview is over. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? Yeah, who else is gonna be? But we haven't finished yet. Uh -oh. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some Look other time. Look who's behind her. It's a creepy lady, isn't it? I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I... we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Nice. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Thanks, well, Jessie. Well, it was great seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Get out of here so I can Hello. break into your Who's apartment. That? Oh, My no. My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Uh... Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? She's got... She's I've got mental problems. I've never seen her before in all my life. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that was that. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. Good point. Thanks. <laughs> what? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No, of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Except for some bestiality and some, you know, Twilight fan fiction websites, but, you know, that's about it. Nothing exciting. Alright, uh, the next part we'll go to Jesse's flat and we'll take a look around.